Hey folks, this is Matthew back once again, and welcome to another gameplay I can do with Megan. This time it's going to be Jeopardy for the NES. Let's see if I can win Megan a bundle this game. And I do have those answer, that answer and quest, that question and answer book with me in case I get one wrong. But it'll help me ace the game though. Be your character. Take it on Glenn and Larry. Two guys. Let's begin with the uh, middle names for a hundred, please. Poet and author Edgar Pose. What is Alan? Middle name's 200. Playwright George Shaws. What is Bernard? Oh. Middle name's 300. Actor Jan Vincents. What is Michael? Middle East 400. Newsman John Swayze's. What is Cameron? And I'll take middle names for 500. American humorist Samuel Clemens. Uh, what is Langhorn? All right. Baseball for 100. There was no joy in Mudville when this mighty batter struck out. Um, who's Casey? Baseball 200. This CY Young Award goes to the best player at this position. What is a pitcher? Baseball 300. A home run hit with the bases loaded. What is a grand slam? Well done. Megan for... No, 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 no. Baseball for 400, please. Playing for Megan. In 8,399 times at bat, this slugger named, named the Bambino scored 5,793 bases. Who is Babe Ruth? And baseball for... 500, please. The Civil War officer is thought by many to have invented the game. Who is Abner Doubleday? Ace that one. How about we go with 
Let's try Egypt for 100. Of the seven wonders of the ancient world, only these remain. What are the pyramids? Egypt for 200. Leader assassinated in 1981. Who is... Anwar Sadat? He's the one we were looking for. Yes. All right. Egypt for three. It's Egypt's official language. What is... Arabic? Egypt 400. Disraeli's dream. What is the Suez Canal? And I'll take Egypt for 500, please. Artifact which proved the key to understanding hieroglyphics. What is the Rosetta Stone? Ram that one. Let's try General Admiral for 100. Israeli general skilled in diplomacy and war. Who is Moshe Dayan? General Admiral for 200, please. Film named for him won Best Picture Oscar in 1970. Who is George Patton? General Admiral for 300, please. Both parties wanted him as their 1952 presidential candidate. Um, who is Dwight David Eisenhower? Uh, General Admiral for 400. He commanded the defeated Confederate forces at the Battle of Gettysburg. Who is... Uh, Robert E. Lee. And I'll take General Admiral for 500, please. Oh, daily double. I'm going to bet 500 on this one to put her at 6,000 if she's right. Here's the clue. Heroic revolutionary war admiral who came to America fleeing murder charge. Who is John Paul Jones?
Six thousand dollars for Megan. <clears throat> Let's do tools for a hundred. Peter, Paul, and Mary sing having one of these. What is a hammer? Uh, tools for 200. Musician slang for an instrument or a tool for chopping wood. What is an axe? Tools 300. Good for nails, storing records, or filling a prisoner's cake. What is a file? Tools for the pounder used with a mortar. What is a pestle? Correct. And I will take tools for 500. The period following the Stone Age when metal tools were first used. What is the Bronze Age? <laughs> Only one category left, and that is just dessert. Let's take it for a hundred. These tiny candies melt in your mouth, not in your hand. What are M&Ms? peanut candy when because when you bite it it shatters what is peanut brittle Created to avoid Sabbath blue law against sale of sodas. What is a Sunday? Four hundred. The British term for a simple cookie. What is a biscuit? They do call cookies biscuits in the UK. And I'm the last clue. Mideast dessert made with a paper thin layers of pastry, chopped nuts, and honey. What is baklava? And so I f Megan finishes the Jeopardy round with $9,000. Now I'm going on to double Jeopardy. Larry gets to go first, and he picks Krabby for $200. Fourth side of Zodiac. What's cancer? on Krabby. We eat lawn pest. What is... What is crabgrass? Krabby for six. 
former Olympic swimmer who played Buck Rogers and Flash Gordon, who is Buster Crab. Crabby 800. A tart fruit used for making jelly. What is a crab apple? And crabby for a grand, please. Pretty blonde teacher of little rascals, who is Miss Crabtree? Let's see if it has space. Actually, no, it doesn't. Crabtree doesn't have a space. All right, rammed it. Now let's do, begins with B, B, <laughs> for 200. You should never put all your eggs in one of these. What is a basket? Begins with B for two for four hundred. Part of the freight train or a throw of twelve in craps. What are box cars? Begins with B for six hundred. CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. It's used as a lighter fluid. What is butane? Begins with B for 800. At this tower, the Lord did confound the language of all the earth. What is... Fable? Begins with B for a grand, please. An Irish female spirit, people are said to wail like one. What is a banshee? Fifteen thousand dollars for Megan. Now we're going to do fads for 200. Off shoulder sweatshirts copy fashions of this frenetic film. One is. What is flash dance? Fads 400. This Canadian combination of Parcheesi and trifling questions was the hit board game of Christmas, 1983. What is Trivial Pursuit? Fads for six. A man did this while David Niven spoke at the 73 Academy Awards. What is... What is streaking?
That's for 800. The International Association began competitive throwing of these in 1957. What are... Frisbees. Oh, uh, that's the response we wanted. Yes. Speaking of fads, for a grand please. He's yellow and runs from ghosts unless they're feeling blue. Uh, who is Pac-Man? Eighteen grand. We are now going for. Art and artist for 200. Gilbert Stewart is named for his unfinished portrait of this U.S. president. Um, who's George Washington? Art and Artist 200. Carmine, Vermilion, and Canium are types of this color. What is red? Uh, art and Artist 3. And, I mean, Art and Artist for 6, please, actually. Art form of Edward Steichen, Ansel Adams, and Annie Leibovitz. <coughs> Excuse me. What is photography? Um, eight hundred. Sculptor's medium bed is nine parts copper and one part tin. What is bronze? Art artist for a grand, please. This colorful French painter uh, painter went from stockbroker to beachcomber. What is? I mean, uh, who is Paul Godwin? One grand for Megan. Let's go with the Wild West for 200. Indian tribe whose name sounds like they take you to court. No. Who are the Sioux? Wild West 400. From a stagecoach company that later merged the railway with Railway Express. What is? Wells Fargo. Six hundred. Oh, and the answer book will with me, so I'm going to bet the farm. Shotgun, Batwing, and Woolies were basic types of these protective leggings. What are chaps? Ah! 
Double nut score for Megan. 800. Oh, doing it again. Last name shared by a famous gun maker and famous painter of cowboys and Indians. What? Who is Remington? Double the score again. Now I'm gonna go with Wild West for a grand. This gunsling dandy and sheriff of Dodge won up a sports reporter in, in New York City, Glenn, who is Bat Masterson. Glenn makes me the next selection. Comedy props for 200. Jack Benny and Henny Youngman have this prop in common. Glenn, what is a violin? That's correct. Larry wants to be around for Final Jeopardy. He's got to get one of these right. How many props for 400? Groucho Marx and Ernie Kovacs were rarely seen without one of these. Larry? No, not Larry the Cable Guy. Oh, he got it wrong, so he's not going to be around for Final Jeopardy. Let Megan try this. What is... A cigar. Six hundred. Steve Martin used to appear on stage with one of these stuck through his head. Is an arrow? And uh, we'll go with comedy props for 800. Ray Walston sometimes wore these when portraying Uncle Martin. What are antennae? Larry wants to be around for Final Jeopardy. He's got to get this last clue right. Smashing these became Comic Gallagher's trademark. Oh, you got to be around for Final Jeopardy. you got to get this right, Larry. Well, I guess he is. What, there are watermelons, and that's correct. So all three of us are going to be around for Final Jeopardy, no matter what. Category is... Ceremonies, I'm going to bet. I'm going to do eleven thousand eight hundred. That's going to put Megan at $100,000 if she's right. All right, here is the clue for Final Jeopardy. January 20th in the year following a year, which is divisible by four. What is Inauguration Day? That's going to put Megan at $100,000 if she gets this right. So if Megan gets this right, she'll be guaranteed $100,000. Glenn doesn't know it. 
see if Larry knows it. Not Larry the Cable Guy. Oh, he got it right, as did Megan. Megan's guaranteed $100,000. Glenn drops down to $600. Larry got it right, and he goes up to $900. See you for the next gameplay, everybody.